Hello and welcome to this quick tip video. This is part of the Painless Answers series, a series designed to answer all those questions that you're struggling to find in other video content. A lot of the time I'll have videos that explain stuff, with, but with nearly 1500 videos on the channel, it can be hard to find what you want. Don't forget you can search in the playlist or by adding Painless360 to the search term, you can usually find the video that you want. This one is all around head trackers, specifically to answer the question from this gentleman here. Uh, Dionysus, Dionysios, apologies for just drawing your name. But this is a really good little question. Again, it's something that I've covered in lots of other places in the channel. Um, so if you're ever looking for something, everything's organized in playlists, everything has hypertext on it. If you put your search term in and add Painless 360 to the end, you can usually find a video. So things like Head Tracker Setup, Painless 360 would have found the previous content. But this time, uh, we're going to set it up specifically on this thing here. Now, I've set up things like the trainer function on things like the Radio Master TX16S before, and it's that kind of trainer input uh, via the DSC connection at the top that a head tracker is going to use. Now, a couple of things before we get too far into this. Uh, there's loads of different head tracker types kicking about. Head trackers are kind of coming more back into vogue again, which is really interesting because they were a hot topic about 2015. Obviously, you've got things like the Quantum Head Tracker. Uh, they struggle to keep this in stock. Uh, they haven't had it in stock for a while now. This is based on a DIY head tracker. I'll put links down below. Uh, if you're interested in me having another go at building a DIY head tracker, it's been seven years, I think, since I built my last one. Uh, quite happy to have a go at it because this, is, this was kind of a plug and play version based on that technology. However, if you want a really nice head tracker and you have fat chart goggles, uh, the Trinity head tracker is the way to go. Fits into one of the bays, and that's actually what the HT button on the top of the goggles is for. It actually turns the head tracker on and off. So in the demo, I'm going to use the Trinity head tracker, but the way they work is all the same. So let's talk a little bit about how they actually work. So I've installed a Trinity head tracker into these HDO goggles so that I can show this to you. It comes with all the cables that you need for all the various radio types. You're going to need the trainer cable from the kit that has the three and a half millimeter stereo jack that's going to go into the top of the radio. Now what I've done is I have connected up um, this little Toolkit RC device so that I can see the PPM signals coming out of that head tracker cable. And if I power up the goggles and enable the head tracker by pressing and holding the HT button, then you can see that on channels five, six, and seven, I have my pan, tilt, and your head tracker movement all being tracked. And that's all the head tracker is doing. It's just outputting those values on usually two or sometimes three channels like with the Trinity for the three axes. And we can use that PPM input just like from a trainer radio with OpenTX and it'll work brilliantly. So let's zoom into the radio and I'll show you what you need to do in order to set this up. So we'll go into the model memory. We'll zoom across until we get to the mixes. And I have my pan and tilt set up here for the two sliders. Now I set this up for the other video that's probably a companion to this, which is how you set up a pan and tilt setup on something like iNav. Now rather than use the sliders, which would be the way to do it if you weren't using a head tracker, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through and you're going to come across these weird things listed called TRs or trainer channels and it goes from one two three four five so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the radio to use TR5 or channel 5 from the trainer input for my pan control and I'll set up my left stick I'll replace that for the tilt control with the trainer channel 6 now this is something that came in in later versions of OpenTX and we don't even have to enable the trainer mode for this to work so if I just plug in the cable from the head tracker into the DSC port at the top of the radio, then I'm actually ready to show you how this works in practice. So here we are on the bench, got the uh, goggles all plugged in. Let's just get it so that we can see the output channels. So there's the output channels on the radio. So now we should see the goggles and the head tracker moving it. So I'm going to power the goggles. 
wait for those to initialize. Uh, you might have noticed that a couple of the outputs there uh, just moved slightly as it started to get PPM signals from the goggles. I'm going to press and hold the head tracker button to enable it. And look at that. As I move the goggles around, there's the channels moving. So channel 7 is for my pan. Channel 8 is for my tilt. And then that can be used instead of the sliders with the pan and tilt either directly off the receiver outputs or like I showed in iNav in the previous video. So there we are, it isn't tricky at all. What you need to do is just uh, connect up your head tracker to your radio, make sure that you have the TR or the trainer input selected. If you're not sure which channel it's on, you can try them one after the other and eventually you'll find them. They're usually, on most head trackers that I've seen, uh, channels five, six and seven, they try and stay away from the first four channels in case your radio isn't as smart as OpenTX and allows you to just pick the ones and have them where they are. Very early versions of OpenTX needed things like the trainer function turned on. It isn't like that now. It is really, really elegant. So hopefully that answers the question for you. If you're interested in head trackers, uh, that's how you set them up in OpenTX and specifically on a TX16S. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.